Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as CA Reptiles, and today I'm going to be showing you how I do photo shoots with my animals. So I really like to take pictures with my animals, just for myself, but also for Instagram. And I'm really awkward in front of a camera. I prefer to be the one behind the camera. You know, I've gotten better about being in front of the camera when it comes to videos. But as far as pictures go, I still feel really awkward in front of the camera if other people are watching me. If I'm doing it by myself, of course, then I'm fine. I'm totally comfortable. But if other people are around, I'm totally weird, which is why I didn't like a majority of my senior pictures because I just felt so uncomfortable being in front of that camera. So I do take all of my pictures by myself and I'm going to show you how I do that. Of course, if you feel comfortable having someone else take your pictures or you have someone to help you, that would be easiest. But if you're like me and you just want to take them yourself, keep watching. So we're going to see if I can do this and record the process, see if I'm that talented, we'll see. So excuse the bed because I didn't make it, it was a little messy today, I like barely made my bed. So. I'm going to try to do a couple different ones. Usually I just do like one photo shoot with an animal. I'm going to try to do a whole bunch today. So I did lay out some outfit options. I'm also wearing an outfit option. And thanks to May and Alyssa from Medusa Official and Alyssa's Lizards, um, they helped me assign an animal to each outfit. So for this dress we're going to do Tansy. This dress will be Zero. This romper will be Cusco, I think. Um, this kind of like boho dress will probably be Calypso. And this sunflower shirt with jeans will be Arcadius. And then this outfit will be with Samoa. So we're going to start with Samoa today. Okay, so here's my setup. Nothing too fancy. It's literally just a tripod and my phone. I'd also really recommend you get a remote, Bluetooth remote. When I take my pictures inside with a backdrop, um, I didn't used to use a remote because it was super easy. I was already standing here, hit the timer, take a step back, take the picture. If I'm doing something outside or away from the tripod, it's really helpful to have a remote because I can be way over here and not have to go over. I can just click the remote and take the picture. So I'm just using my iPhone. I like taking pictures on my iPhone. I feel like it does a good job. Um, do, 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 do. I think it's an XS. It's one of the newer ones, but it does a really good job taking pictures. And I like that I can upload right to um, Instagram. So I just use my phone. So I do recommend getting your tripod and everything set up before you have your animals because it's really hard to handle animals and have to adjust the tripod. So I'm just going to make sure that this is set. And make sure my Bluetooth is on. I'm going to put on airplane mode just to save my battery. So Bluetooth is on. Let's see if the remote's working. Okay, your remote is working. Now let's see if I like the layout. Okay. So I like the height of it. I'll just adjust this a little bit or bring it closer. But yeah, so that's all set. So now I can go get Samoa. Okay, so that didn't really go as planned. It's really hot out. When the breeze blows, it's really nice, but when it doesn't blow, it's disgusting and I'm sweating. So we're gonna skip to outfit number two, which is a shorter dress that's light and flowy so that I can breathe a little bit, which means we're going on to zero. My remote died, so I'm showing you another way a lot of people do self photography, and you just let the video run. Then you just pull frames from the video and it's great because you can try lots of different things. Okay, so we're done for today. I made it through three animals out of all the ones I had planned, but it's just so, so hot outside. I was sweating. My makeup is like all smudgy because I was sweating and my mom came home. It's after one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm taking the master herpetologist course and I told myself I was gonna get started on that today. And here it is after one already. So I really need to get going on that and I'm starving. So, and I also broke my tripod. And my remote stopped working. So yeah, it's just, it's 
it's time to be done. Also being in the heat makes my poison ivy really itch because I'm covered in poison ivy. So yeah, but three animals, not bad. I got some pictures, some decent pictures for each of them. It didn't go quite as good as I had planned. It's a lot easier for me to do self photography in my room with a backdrop, just doing like a headshot. When it comes to full body, I feel like if you're doing self photography, you really have to get the angles right to make it not look like you're doing self photography. And I had kind of my shrinky dink tripod that was not easy to adjust while holding a snake because my other tripod that's taller and easier to adjust is at work. So working with what I've got, but yeah. So if you can get someone to help you take pictures, that's really the best way to go if you're planning on doing them outside. If you're doing them inside, those tricks for taking them yourself work great. You know, if you're setting up a backdrop or you already have a backdrop, you're using a wall, whatever, those tips work great. Something outside or somewhere, going somewhere, it's really just a lot easier to have someone take them for you. But if you don't have anyone to do that, this is how you can do that. So I hope this kind of gave you guys some inspiration, got you thinking that you might want to go take some pictures with your animals. If it did, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you do end up using these tips and this video inspired you to go take some pictures with your animals, I'd love to see them. So tag me in them on Instagram so I can see what you guys end up coming up with. I love seeing what people can do with self photography. Just being able to take pictures of yourself. I love seeing the results and what people can come up with. So if you do it, tag me on Instagram. And I'll probably do this again in a couple of days. I really wanted to do some with Arcadius and I really wanted to do some with Calypso, my rainbow boa, but she's in shed. So I decided to skip on her because I was gonna do her. I took her out, but she was in shed. So I skipped her and I wanna do Cusco, um, my skink. Oh, for those who don't know, I named my blue tongue skink. His name is Cusco. Yay! Thank you guys all for joining me today, and we'll see you for the next video.